actually a lot cleaner than American uh, the, the, the Lincoln Tunnel.
Napoleonic Wars coming. The English were running the town, but there was lots of French activity in the town. So to avoid any trouble, what the English said they would do, they'd gather up the old French men, bring them all up here, lock them all in there. And they did. They locked 600 Frenchmen into that building. And I know what you're thinking, ladies. Where were you? <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Great till one disastrous night, the 17th of January, 1747, when one of these silly Frenchmen must have been smoking a cigarette in bed. I don't know that he didn't put it out properly. Did he fall asleep with the thing lighting? Whatever he did do, I do know he set the building alight. And because it was just dry and rotten timber, the building, it didn't have a chance, it went up like a tinderbox despite anything that anybody could do, 54 of those poor French prisoners perished. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> bonjour. Bonjour, croissants. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> round tower on the north side of the side, we will go to see it on the tour, as the bell tower to mark this changing to a monastic side and that is the oldest building on the rock of Cashel today. Up the side here we also have, that was 1101, in 1127 commissioned a Romanesque style chapel by Cormac McCarthy that was consecrated in 1134. Are we all done? Now folks, in the corner behind you, we have the only thing at the well which dates to what's known in our history as the Celtic cycle. Before the Vikings, the Normans, or indeed the English got here to dilute our perfect Celtic blood, they sank a well down into the limestone beneath our feet. And it is believed to be a sixth century artesian well. Now you might well think, what would you need a well for in Ireland? It rains so much, could you put a barrel outside the door? It would be like a magic barrel, but never empty. Trust me, folks, the one time you'd be under siege for a month, you'd get a heat wave. It's called Murphy's Law in Ireland, just in case they have their fresh drinking water, okay? In the field below us, we have St. Mary.